Assalamualaikum. I am Associate Professor Dr. Marina Binti Muhammad Top Elias Muhammad Ta. And today I would like to present our research finding entitled Knowledge and Awareness on the Importance of Wildlife Among Primary School Students in Districts of Petaling Perdana Selangor. Environmental education has been introduced into primary and secondary schools curriculum after the sixth Malaysian plan. Based on the syllabus of science subject in primary schools in Malaysia, the introduction to animals was introduced in 10 years old students, which is in year four. But the introduction towards basic knowledge on wildlife was started at the age of 11 years old, which is in year five. Wildlife education allows kids to recognize the importance of animals. Wildlife education must result in positive changes in knowledge, attitudes, awareness, and action towards wildlife. Wildlife as type of undomesticated animals and uncultivated plants which live in their natural habitats such as forests without influence of the human activities. Human activities can have serious impacts that could influence the wildlife habitat, including wildlife hunting, poaching and habitat destruction. Due to the ecosystem destruction, the biodiversity of flora and fauna has decreased numbers of species. There are two objectives in this study to determine the coverage of knowledge on wildlife and also to determine the level of awareness on the importance of wildlife among primary school students in Petaling Perdana districts of Selangor, Malaysia. Selangor has been chosen as our study site. There are about 76 primary school students in Petaling Perdana Selangor, but only nine primary schools were selected in this survey, which as listed in this figure too. This study was conducted among your five primary school students with the age of respondent is 11 years old, involving 391 students. Based on the study by Westerveld and Liwell Lin, the most influential age for youngsters to be exposed to environmental education used to be between the age of 11 and 12. At this age, they have a higher tendency to process the information more efficiently. At the age of 7 to 11, it is the time where kids learn to cooperate and take part with friends or adults. This age is acknowledged as middle childhood. We use structured questionnaire in this data collection to ensure that the questionnaire is easily understood. Both language Bahasa Melayu and English were used. The questionnaire consists of close-ended and open-ended questions which have three sections. Section A has 10 questions, including direct question and self-report questions. Section B consists of 13 questions about awareness on the importance of wildlife. In Section C, respondents were asked to indicate their socio-demographic background. A pilot study was carried out to ensure that respondents easily understand the content of the questionnaire. Sekolah Kebangsaan Taman Sungai Besi Indah with 36 students was involved in this pilot study. Collected data then were analyzed using SPSS software. So we go to the results and discussion. First, on knowledge on the importance of wildlife. From this survey, respondents were asked whether any of them ever own pets or do not own any animals at home. Figure 10 shows 55% of respondents have pets at home. Majority of respondents have cats as a pet at home followed by fish, tortoise and the rest of the animal list in the figure. Having pet can encourage to understand and develop caring behaviour towards animals. Most of the respondents define wildlife as animals or plants that live wild in the forest, while half of the total number of respondents define wildlife as animals that find their own food. Teachers and school resulted in a high percentage on providing information about wildlife where the teacher was at the highest percentage followed by schools, internet, television, family members and books. Friends and newspapers have quite low percentage. However, radio resulted the least percentage in providing information and knowledge about wildlife to the respondent. 
Figure 14 shows 92% of the respondent visited to zoo or wildlife conservation center in their lifetime. There are 36% of the respondent have experienced going to zoo or wildlife conservation center only once in their lifetime. In the survey, students were tested on their knowledge on the species of wildlife in Malaysia. Species of wildlife that were listed in the survey were tiger, wild boar, picture plant and rafflesia. According to the data recorded in Table 1, most respondents were able to identify all the wildlife and almost all of the respondents were able to identify tiger as one type of wildlife. Next results is on the awareness on importance of wildlife. In the survey, students have been asked whether they agree or not agree on the protection of wildlife in Malaysia. Based on the figure 17, almost all of the respondents knows that wildlife should be protected. But on the other hand, another 4% does not agree and think that it is not necessary to protect wildlife. Table 2 shows that 94% of respondents believe that wildlife should be protected at the zoo or wildlife conservation center. Figure 18 shows that most of the respondents have awareness towards the conservation of wildlife as they believe that wildlife deserves to be conserved and well cared. Figure 19 shows 66% of respondents think that wildlife is important as a source of food for humans. Although food is one of the reasons of wildlife hunting, most of the respondents are aware that wildlife hunting is not a right practice. Next, the survey also asked students have they or their family have ever eaten wildlife or done wildlife hunting in the wild and what type of wildlife did uh, they have eaten or took from the wild. So table 3 shows the survey has recorded that 35% of respondents and their families have ever taken and eat wildlife from the natural habitat. Uh, figure 20 shows wild bird recorded the highest percentage followed by monkeys, snakes and the rest of animals listed in the figure. According to table 4, it shows that awareness level towards wildlife conservation for most respondents was high. Level of awareness have reflected the respondents' concern and willingness to conserve the remaining biodiversity in the ecosystem. Next is results on demographic factors associated with knowledge and awareness level. Table 8 shows there is no significant difference between male and female respondents. Previous study by Hoi Kass et al. shows that boys would have greater knowledge about wildlife. On the other hand, they show significant difference found for the demographic factor of employment of respondents' father in the awareness level. Donaldson mentioned that children that have parents with less monthly income tend to have less awareness level compared to others in terms of limited exposure to the children. Next, results on relationship between knowledge and awareness level. There is no significant difference between awareness level and knowledge level. This proved that level of knowledge was not affected by the level of awareness. Same goes for the level of awareness that's not affected by the level of knowledge. Study from Noshida in Bintulu, Sarawak shows that most of the students who have high knowledge tend to have high awareness towards wildlife. Table 7 shows that among respondents that have high knowledge have high awareness and among respondents who have high awareness have high knowledge. Therefore, awareness can be prioritized as main focus for future studies. In summary, year five students aged 11 years old at schools around Petaling Perdana resulted to have high knowledge level on basic knowledge of wildlife and high awareness level on wildlife conservation. Students obtain most of their information about wildlife mostly from schools and teachers. Internet and television also play an important role in providing knowledge about wildlife for students. However, few students or respondents have no experience and have never been to a zoo or wildlife conservation center. This study also finds out that even though most of the respondents have a high level of knowledge and awareness, few of respondents and family members have practiced wildlife hunting from the wild. 
most of the students were also able to identify all the species of wildlife stated in the survey and know the importance of wildlife for humans. In this study, demographic factors affect the knowledge level and awareness level of respondent based on the father's occupation. In conclusion, students of primary schools around Petaling Perdana Selangor have a high level of knowledge and high level of awareness towards wildlife. These are the references. That's all from me. Thank you.